Okay, hello guys. So we'll do very brief review for your last practical, and I will just start with the machine uh, buttons. So uh, when we turn this on, remember no password. We just click set, and this will go away. Now to change, switch between probes. You hit exam button, and you don't need specific exam types you just click on the probe you like to use okay and we will get curvilinear in your probe turned right now most of the objectives you can uh find with this curvilinear in your probe just because this will give you better resolution but for bigger patients in the hospital, when you practice, you may switch to this probe because penetration on this probe is better. Okay, first, let's do right and left upper quadrants. So here's your objectives, and I will start with the right. Do not go easy on gel. And Matt, uh, now we just need the spot here. So on the story, gel is cold. And on the right, I'm on about anterior axillary line. And notice that my probe, I set it longitudinally. And then I will correct it as I need it. So on the image, I have liver, now that this is the liver, and if I angle, probe now, probe a little bit down to the spine, I will get kidney. So here is the kidney. Now I will freeze and will show the image. Here we have our objectives as liver, kidney, hepatorenal recess, and another objective is the right pleural space. Make sure that you are on the right enough depth, at least 15 centimeters, to see this right diaphragm. And right here, we will have right plural space. Okay, next, left. I will scoop gel. Left will be more poster axillary line and ninth intercostal space. And when you start scanning, you position your probe like this and then angle slightly to the spine. Now, let's look at the image. So we start scanning. We have that bright homogeneous spleen. And when we angle slightly to the back, we have our kidney. I will make my depth, depth more shallow because we don't need on the left side that much. And I will freeze. Now, objectives, spleen. Here is the kidney, always darker. Spleen renal recess. Make sure you have diaphragm. And if you have diaphragm, we can say, okay, this is left plural space. Okay, done with left. Uh, let's go to pelvis now. Make sure that you come to the practical with at least a little bit your bladder and remember we're scanning very low towards the feet let me okay now I'm right here use washcloths and now Matt we need a picture I will make this slightly darker so bladder is more noticeable as a black spot on the screen. And here is the depth buttons. Here's the overall gain. 
and after overall gain you can correct your gain if you like with the within the fields but here i have urinary bladder not very full hope yours will be better because here you will see on the males prostate and important things are retrovesicular spaces which are right here make sure you can explain in words what, where is the retrovesicular space so if you have male partner we will ask you retrovesicular space if you have female partner we'll ask you pouch douglas or same as a cul de sac and for example for female if it is a uterus Pouch Douglas is right here. Okay, next, let's let me check pelvis, prostate, uterus, Pouch Douglas, retrovesicular, urinary bladder. So we covered all of this. Let's do the lung right now. Lung, we can use the same probe or basically any other probes on the card. Okay, for a lung, my advice to use right anterior chest. Obviously, in clinic for patients, you will do your scan all over the lung surface where you need it. Just for teaching learning purposes, we use this simple spot. And again, it is longitudinal position of the probe. Now, on the screen, we have, since we positioned the probe longitudinally, we have intercostal space right here. So between two rib shadows, we have this space, which we will scan. I will make it more shallow. We need to identify chest wall. Here's the chest wall. Here's the pleura. This is lung parenchyma. And this is B mode life image, B mode image. And comet tails, comet tails, you will see if you look at the pleurae, both pleural and visceral, visceral, you will see comet tails sliding down. But better comet tails you can find with this probe. But if you're using whatever probe on the card, you can just explain what are the comet tails and where they are. With M mode, we need to hit M, position it through the pleura and parenchyma, hit M again, and we will get our M mode graphical image. So if here we had chest wall, chest wall will be above the pleura, 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 lung parenchyma, lung parenchyma. So if we ask you show us M mode, you will do this picture and show chest wall, pleura, lung parenchyma. And on a normal person, it is a seashore sign. And remember with pneumothorax, that's why we do this. Um, during the trauma fest for fast exam, it is a barcode sign. Next, okay. So next will be sorry subcostal for heart. B, mo B button will bring you back to your B mode image. Okay, subcostal. So subcostal means right underneath the xiphoid, or we name it sub xiphoid uh, area, right underneath the xiphoid. Now we remember that our probe is right here and heart is here. 
So before we start, think about your depth. If you have normal BMI patient, this probe will work for subcostal here. It does not matter which way is your probe marker because as you scan and send your ultrasound waves to the heart, not like this, but this, and slightly push, I will go deeper, increase gain a little bit. We can ask patient to take a deep breath in, let's try, and this may increase your image. Okay, and I will freeze, breathe. We have objectives as the pericardium, which is that bright line around the heart. Here are the chambers of the heart. And we need right atrium, right ventricle, and we need to identify right ventricle, right atrium. And we know that if this is the liver, this will be the right heart. So don't think too much about the probe marker. You know where, where's your liver on the picture. And this is the right ventricle. This is the right atrium. Next, I want you to review how to get IVC. At this point of your life, uh, your IVC should be the IVC that coming to the right atrium because that's how you will look for central venous pressure what we are doing here we have heart and then tilt slightly sending ultrasound waves to the liver in ivc and now look on the picture we have heart right atrium i start tilting my probe make it more perpendicular to the skin and I get this IVC entering the right atrium. Right here. That is important picture for IVC. Okay, next. If ye do not get a good picture with this probe, we will switch to phase array and can do same with the phased array probe and you may get even better image for subcostal and your IVC if you look on the screen and remember for central venous pressure we ask patient to sniff or take a, even a small breath in and IVC should collapse more than 50% here right by the within one centimeter before right atrium and here here is the liver so this is right ventricle this is right atrium and here is your ivc okay next is the i want you to review per peristernal long axis view for this we need to be you good right now uh, on the left sternal border anywhere from here to here just find your good window You guys all in a good shape and your patients may not be in a good shape in terms of that they cannot easily lay on the left side right and turn around so you can try doing the peristernal long axis view in supine position and I will make it slightly brighter so it's better. Okay, out of this view, we need left ventricle because for you, it is important to see the squeezing function of the ejection fraction and how left ventricle squeezes the blood out into the aorta. Aorta is your next objective right here and the mitral valve. So left ventricle, mitral valve, and aorta. But if you don't get a good view 
We ask patient to turn on the left side. Go ahead. Okay, and same thing can be found even easier right there. I freeze, left ventricle, mitral valve, aorta. And when you're trying to find this view, do not stay on one spot. Just go all around until you see your clear image. So, usually tall people have it slightly lower, short people have it up there, but it varies. So, I can tell you what intercostal space, third or fourth or second. Just find your image. Okay, this is first sternal long axis view. We have left aorta uh, for triple A. We will scan abdominal aorta right above the embolicus. And you can scan it with phased array probe and you know that aorta on the left side, IVC on the right side. So here, if we scan with this probe, you have spine, aorta on the, I should have changed it to abdomen so I'm not confusing you with the probe marker. If you use in phase the ray probe, we have aorta on the left and IVC, which is compressible, also is its vein on the right. If you are going to use abdominal probe, you will get even better image. Your probe marker to the right. So your IVC will be on the right, your aorta will be on the left. And on the screen, you will get spine. Remember that, oops, other way. Remember that image from second semester practical aorta and IVC somewhere here. I will go a little bit darker so I see my vasculature. This is your aorta. That's it, guys. Good luck. You have open hours, and we're here for you.